honored for their bravery, sacrifice, and service to the city of New York. Today, the NYPD recognized a few of their brothers in blue who went above and beyond the call of duty. CBS 2's Jessica Borg has more on how today's NYPD Medal Day also included a special honor for a fallen officer's family. NYPD Medal Day here at police headquarters in Lower Manhattan. We gather today as part of an extraordinary tradition. A tradition that dates back to 1845, recognizing the achievements of men and women in the city. Among the ceremony's highlights, the young sons of Sergeant Paul Tozzolo accepting his Medal of Honor, the NYPD's most prestigious award. Four-year-old Austin and three-year-old Joseph were joined by Tozzolo's widow. Sergeant Tozzolo was shot in the head during a gunfight in the Bronx back in November. Police say the gunman who killed the 19-year veteran was a career criminal. Tozzolo was hailed a hero for warning fellow officers at the scene that the suspect was armed. 12,000 people attended Tozzolo's funeral on Long Island. It was a proud day for all medal recipients. Awarded the Distinguished Service Medal is Detective Joseph Cavatolo. Accepting the medal on his behalf is his daughter, Ashley. Ashley Cavatolo says she's proud to wear his award. That's for uh, his uh, work down at the 9-11 site, uh, you know, looking for everyone, helping other families. And unfortunately, the debris and everything concluded to his passing. He died four years ago. Ashley says she wants to honor her father by joining the force. So it would be great to follow in his footsteps and, you know, live up to his name and be just as great as he was. Detective Richard Shell was among others who received the Police Combat Cross for his work in plainclothes patrol back in 2013. Uh, we got to a brief foot pursuit uh, with a suspect that uh, removed the firearm and began shooting at us, and uh, the two of us, along with our sergeant, returned fire. In all, 33 medals were awarded today, some posthumously, and all with appreciation on behalf of the city. Jessica Borg, CBS 2 News.